Well, howdy, the name's Vex, and welcome back to East Origin. We're in the Silent Sands, and this is an okay area. I don't I don't have too much to say about it other than it looks brown. I don't even know why I went over here. There's nothing up here except those pots. Symmetrically, nice. Especially with these spiked towers running around. That does, that, they don't seem to be on any sort of track that I can see. Maybe if I put on the Mask of Eyes, then I can see it. So in here we have some SP. We'll be using this SP, don't you worry. I'm gonna get shot at. Put on the Mask of Eyes real quick. Ah, uh, please, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Game, thank you. I hate... No s It's supposed to be ice or glass or something? I don't know why it's slippery. Who spilled their lube everywhere? I'm sorry. We have the evil ring now, and uh, it it's it's a ring. That's evil. <laughs> that's that's all it is. It as we'll go ahead and read the description because you know that'll take no time. A ring made of by the demons, though its power seems to have been drained. Ow. Fuck these things. I don't like them. I don't know. Oh, hey, we don't... <laughs> we can't get that chest yet. We'll get it soon, don't worry. So, we'll go ahead and go... Because we got the marble key. Yeah, okay. We'll go ahead and go right, because there's something we need to do here. And that involves killing... Oh, no. Some monsters. Some demons. So we can't actually kill these things that are following me, because they are unkillable. I mean, you can kill them. They're like the dry bones in Mario. Okay? That's, that's pretty much what they are. They're pretty much just dry bones. They'll come back. See? They're annoying. I don't like them. But we'll persevere through their bullshit. Just open this door. Now we could go and jump alongside the other staircase, but it's blocked off by a path that we can't jump on. So let's ignore it. Ignore these guys, too, because, honestly, whatever. Use the marble key. And get ready for, uh, eh, fight. These things! Hello! They like to throw bombs. So the easiest way to really deal with them is, ow, not getting hit by their bombs, for one. For two, getting them grouped up enough so you can fire your dragon at them, your phoenix at them. I'll just keep throwing these bombs. They don't, they don't care. Even in death, I'm pretty sure they drop the bombs on their back as a final death plea. Thank you. See, they do. Drop like three bombs. And in here, we have the ability to double jump. Remember last time I said something about Unica needing to learn how to double jump. So here it is. Boom. It's exactly as how you'd think it'd be. It's just a regular double jump. We have a nice item waiting for us down here. You know, sometimes those guardrails come in handy. So you don't fly right over them. I think that was the point in them putting them there. But we're pretty much done for this... Ow, god damn it! For this area. I'm just going to keep running into them. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, we didn't grab that because we weren't in the proper room. We'll be in the proper room here soon. After we heal up. Up. Pretty much, it's a huge run around trying to get from place to place in here. 
get nice items, get a nice juicy road of fruit. I think road of fruits are supposed to be pears. They look nice and juicy. There's nothing up there except for a pot if you want it. I mean, we could have grabbed the road of fruit when we were in here the first time, but whatever. That wouldn't have flowed that well together. I'll get us all set in panacea. Alright, now let's go back to that room where we couldn't kill the things. It should go over well, right? I mean, it's not too bad of an area, I don't think. Especially when you, it gets kind of faster now, you can double jump. But let's talk to the Rue. And the Rue will give us... Come on. Some armor. The Sylphan Boots. Falcom really likes... Sylphid. It's constantly referenced throughout their works. This is another reference to Sylphid. Fee in Trails of Cold Steel is referred to as Sylphid. And there's a god that you can put on in Xanadu next that is also Sylphid. So, it's a lot of play. So now we're done in here and let's uh, have a nice encounter. What's up, Lady Rhea? Unica's very happy to see you. That's a very black ball you got there. Well, I'm surprised to see you here. <laughs> She's not having it. Oh. Ambush. We got some dry bones. Hell yeah, Unica, get them. Alright. Pretty much the same deal as... Oh, shit. Pretty much the same deal as the bomb throwers. Just use flame burst. And uh, it'll clear enemies out real quick. Oh, that didn't hurt. Just a giant blade smack down on your head. Oh no! Look at them. They got, <laughs> they got little gloves on with little knives. Ain't that cute? Damn. I mean, yeah, we're pretty much your guardians, right? <laughs> That's the entire point. Amazing that you managed to slip by us. I mean, I, uh, is it? You have wings. You can leave whenever you want. I guess your guardians never thought about that. Rado's Annex. Oh, well, that's our next destination, I bet. Silver Chimes. Oh, 
Don't think about it too much, just go with the flow. Bashling's on the head. You'll get there eventually. Now we're introduced to, uh, these... things. I don't like them. They nip at your... They nip at your... Oh, right, hold on. Silver chimes! Your tone is said to put undying souls dressed. So yeah, those things die. Those little bug things are assholes, they're annoying, I don't like them, yada yada, ah, fuck. Yada yada yada. Nipature heals a little bit. Prevents- <laughs> Hey dude, are you alright? You alright down there? Yeah, you're fine. They prevent progress because, yeah, Nipature, nipature heals. So it's just... Uh, not a fun time with them around. Alright, so, we want to go down here first, activate a button, which will let us get on an... <laughs> get on an elevator. But first, there's a, another chest we can open. A bountiful chest filled with something needed. I should use that Silset and Panacea, but why do that when I got two now? <laughs> well, I mean, that should be incentive to use them both now, I guess. And wait for the elevator. Ow. Get on! Thank you. Okay. So now we go right. We don't have to go right. Um, it's just if you want some more SP. Dodge these spike traps. Give me the SP. We'll get enough to do some good stuff with it. That one's on top of the torch. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. It's burning alive. Oh, how did I? Okay. I'll, I'll accept it, I guess. <laughs> begrudgingly. Now this jump is a little bit more forgiving, I say, as I fail. Ah! There we go. Ain't that some shit. Okay. Go ahead and get on that elevator now. Unfortunately, they're not in sync. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You can't get me. You can't throw your bombs up high enough. <laughs> you poor bastards. You're doing a terrible job down there, you know that. And just ignore these guys. Cause let's be honest. You don't need to kill them. Alright, so, now we have this, over here. We can go right and we can go left, let's see what's on the left. Just a door. A door we can't access yet, so we'll go ahead and go right. Because that's obvious progress. And welcome to Rado's Annex. Well, not quite the, uh... <laughs> We're on the bridge leading to the Annex. But we get to meet Hugo. The mysterious magician, mage, whatever. Sorcerer. That's the word, right? Aren't you a handsome young twink? He's kind of pompous, in a way. Not really. He doesn't have much of a personality that I can muster, and I could gather. I can't muster his personality. I don't understand the English language that well when I'm just speaking, so...
Uh, I had a run in with Lady Ray and then she flew away. Or teleported away. <laughs> Even though she has wings, she can just fly to the top of the tower. It's not wholesome. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on in there, Unica. You don't want to go in there. Sin has corrupted these halls. <laughs> We're at a loss. Oh, hey. <laughs> I've got an axe. I can, I can beat whatever's in there. I think you'll be a little bit, um, what's the word, disappointed at what's behind the door up ahead. Well, some people might be disappointed. Others might be elated in a way. Let's go ahead and pop this. Accept a divine blessing. I didn't want that one. Give me this. Strengthen my defense. Uh, let's see. SP gain or... Well, that's, or reduce bad status duration. We'll go SP gain. Make it faster. And now let's have a nice save. Alright. Let's go. Another encounter. This is three so far. Ooh, a sultry voice. Remember when I said some people would be elated? Hello, Zava. You and your... Hmm. Bountiful magic. She's been given... All of the amenities, including an impenetrable magic barrier. I mean, I, I know whenever I go to a hotel, I expect a magic barrier there, to be honest. You're doing good, Unica. Don't let Zava take that pride away from you. Oh, we'll give you a good show. Well, hello. I'm fairly sure this monster is actually in East 1. I'm pretty sure all of these monsters appear in East 1 and 2. I've not played those. They're just, uh, to be honest, too archaic for me. So this fight is... Boring, a little bit. So it, it's it's pretty much kind of a bullet hell fight. If you don't know what a bullet fight, bullet, a bullet hell fight is, it's pretty much you have to dodge bullets, dodge attacks, and deliver attacks when you need to. And our only real way to damage this thing is through the flame burst. Since if we get too close, we're going to get nicked time and time again. I think after some point... It's not a difficult boss fight, so I think at some point I'm going to speed things up a little bit. And if I die, then I'll do the regular thing. But it, it gets kind of tedious. I mean, there's probably a faster way of doing this. I know there's a speedrun of this game. And I've uh, I had it on in the background. 
but I didn't pay attention to it. This is pretty much how I did it the first time I played. Now while we're on hard mode, ooh, things are a little bit spicier. Uh, of course. This is probably one of the easier patterns that he throws out at you when the, the pillars are just faced away from you. But after a while, after you're probably about half his health is depleted, they start doing a bunch of a bunch of nice stuff to uh, keep you on your toes. So yeah, it's pretty much just align your shot and then run. Just run, charge up your next shot, fire, shoot, run. It's a it's it's a process. This is a battle, this is a war of attrition more than anything. Much different than the last boss fight I had. Or it was just do your best to not... Well, I mean, that's pretty much the aim of the... Aim of the boss fights anyway. Don't get hit. But this one's a little bit easier to not get hit. As opposed to the last one. Which would do... Oh, all kinds of bullshit to you. Oh, missed that one entirely. Another reason why you want to use the flame burst is because of any projectiles that appear. You can easily clear them away with that. Or just jump past them, because they fly really fast. Nope, can't get me. Nope, can't get me. Where you spawn at? That's, that's a decent spawn for you. Still got some hits off you, buddy. That's not... Uh, and you leave as soon as I get a good shot on you. Come on now. Oh. Oh, missed you entirely. That time I got you. I'm doing about... A hundred damage per shot. With this. Nope, okay. Why you gotta do that for my man? Okay. Ah, I got greedy. I got greedy. Thought I could take more than I. Oh. See, then they start doing this stuff. Oh. Well, that was more than two, wasn't it? That was about four. That's pretty good. They start shooting stuff. Like, I think they want you to jump in the middle so you can get hit, but I'm fairly sure people are smart enough to not do that. Where are you at? There you are. Nope, missed you. Nope, jump in the fire. Nope, jump in the fire again. Oh. Got me. Don't run into the wall, Unica, please. We're almost there. Mm. Oh. 
Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I mean, they at least give you some time to regroup. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Couldn't get it. Ran the wrong way. Oh, come on now. Where'd you go? No. no. Oh, how'd I get out of that? I did get hit <laughs> at some point. All right. Not done yet on the patterns, are we? <laughs> Please. Please give me. Give me a sec. Because then the fight would be too easy if uh, if you could destroy these tower these tower demon things. Obviously. Ah! Just don't get greedy. Don't get cocky. I should be okay. I think I've got I got him in a decent enough pat oh I got hit. I think I have him in a decent enough pattern. So long as I don't mess up. I ain't gonna charge. Okay now I'll charge. Jesus! <sighs> I mean, you can hear the clench, can't you? Just, oh. Come on. Oh, he disappeared before. Oh, that sucks. Now we're in the fire. Oh. Just a couple more. Just a couple more. Oh, one more cycle. One more cycle. Look at look at that sliver. Look at that tiny Tim of a damn tick. Oh, there we go. Oh. Not that bad of a fight. <laughs> What's up, Zava? You mad? You mad, girl? I can make that mad go away, madness go away. <laughs> the buffest, meanest mouse you'll ever, ever see. <laughs> Who's this? Ordalis. 
Well, you already did <laughs> Zava, good job. You gave away his name. Oh, I'll be more than ready for you. I think she's hot and bothered for me. What an ominous looking door. Let's beat it up. The Devil's Gaze. Oh, hey! Hey! Uh, you, you guys probably should have followed me in. I probably could have used your help. But no! Yeah, it works. Just, just walk right into it. I assume he tapped his staff onto it. And didn't just run headlong into it. <laughs> Ooh, and we may just have the thing. <laughs> Unica, hey. Not <laughs> Kadena. Hey, I'm Unica. I have a ring. <laughs> I should have said Unica has a ring. at it closely. Let's talk to the door. Nothing. You go. I have a great idea for getting past this curse. It's called using my axe. Not in the way that you might think, either. But we'll go ahead and save and do all of that next time. Why did, why did the game take away my EX meter? That's not very nice. Well, anyway. Thanks for watching.